thank you so much for agreeing to chat to us today. Yeah, of course. Well, I want to start off by saying congratulations. I've had a chance to watch the film, and it's absolutely amazing. So congratulations. Thank you. So tell us a little bit about what it was like when you were first given the script to Firestarter to read, because I believe you read it on a plane. Yeah, that's true. I read it on my flight back. It was a two-hour flight back to my home from L.A., and uh, by the time I landed, I knew that I wanted to do it. And uh, I was familiar with the book. I'd seen the original film, and yet there was something that felt new and fresh and different about this script. And uh, it was kind of one of those things where I said, you know, if we can make it exactly like this is written, then I'm in. So one of the interesting things I found was Stephen King always said that he saw this as a chase thriller rather than a horror. Is that something that you felt as well when you first read this version of the screenplay? Yeah, I did. You know, and Scott Teams, the writer, and I had talked about, you know, that in some ways it reminds me a lot of like the paranoid thrillers of the 1970s. Um, And I think it, it makes sense because that's where... King was drawing from when he wrote it. He was thinking about the MK Ultra program that the CIA ran because there was about a lot of revelations coming out in the late seventies, early eighties, and so he he took that conspiracy theory, paranoid mindset about human experimentation and wrapped it into a story about a father and his daughter, um, which was appealing to me. It was horrific in kind of some aspects, but. Very much suspenseful and a thriller, a family on the run. The father figure is an interesting character as well, because so often in horror we see the father as an evil father. Tell us a little bit about how you approached that role and how you approached it with Zach as well. Yeah, you know, I identified with it in a lot of ways because I am a father. I've got three kids, and Scott Teams, the writer, also has three kids, same age. So... We, we identified a lot with kind of how to how to, to, to father uh, Charlie and talk to Charlie and explore Charlie's inner life. Um, and then working with Zach, Zach had never played a dad, uh, though he's now of the age where he could be one. Um, and so it was exciting for us to kind of explore what that meant. So a lot of it was Zach and I talking um, just about being a dad and what these things are like. Um, and then also working with Ryan, with our Charlie, to flesh that out even further. Um, because I think one of the big core themes of the movie is parenting. And do you protect your child or you let your child discover things for themselves? And where's that balance? Um, and so once we had the actors in place, it was really a lot of dialogue about that. You also have a background in drug research. How did that help mm-hmm. um, with your work on this film as well? Yeah, it was it was a it was a nice coincidence. It, it, it's possible that that's also why I was attracted to it because I know the clinical research world of uh, you know working with medications and patients, and the whole linchpin of this film is that there's this you know lot six experiment where these people unlock these powers and Charlie is born directly from this. Um, And so coming from a scientific background, I saw an opportunity to do what could look like a superhero origin story, but told through a very realistic, as scientific as I could make it sort of story that felt grounded and that felt real to kind of as real as some of this science could get um, and, and, and rooted in kind of my own experience, too. And when I was doing clinical research for part of it, I was working with children. Um, so I know, you know, I know that side of things, uh, and it was interesting to kind of parlay some of that. Well, Keith, we are right out of time. So again, congratulations on the film, but to finish yeah, up, what would you like to say to people out there before they go into the cinema to see Firestarter? You know, I hope, I hope you're ready. I hope you're ready for Firestarter. I don't know if you are, but, uh, get ready for, uh, an intense and emotional and explosive time.